And as, like John, I too looked at this um, plan initially, and while not fully in support of it, I could see how it would be a good plan. It was the, um, the combination of where the money was proposed to be put, and as much as that, I must admit, it was the tactics employed, whether it was the school board or the vote yes campaign, or whoever it was that decided to really push this um, to favor those who would come and support the issue. Those things combined um, swung me to from a possible yes voter to a no vote. I'm a guy who's not from Madison. I grew up on the other side of the state. Um, several years ago, 2004, my wife and I moved to Madison. We had our first child here. And we lived here for just over a year. And I've, I've been on the West Coast and the East Coast. Um, we left to go work um, in a whole nother occupation for me, and both being from South Dakota, uh, her folks are around here, or her, they grew up around here, she's got some extended family still around. We had two more kids while we were gone, and we thought, you know, we had such a good experience in Madison uh, when we lived here before. Uh, we bought a house here then, and as far as how this would impact me, personally, or my family, you know, based on the property values, we would pay in that very low, I don't know what the percentage would be, but it wouldn't affect us much to give you a yes vote. We've got three kids. Our intention has been for them to go to school here. Um, coming back to Madison was a difficult decision. One of the things that um, caused us to come back, though, was our, our perception of the school system, the students, the activities, you know, you got a way of life, you know, things for the community. But we're a one-income family, and to come back to Madison, I made a decision to take a 60% pay cut to come back here. Now think about it. Think about what you make, cut it in half, take another 10% off of that. We did that because we thought this was the place for us. The, the tactics that were used are not things that I want young people to see put out there so that things can go your way. I'm looking for fairness. I'm looking for openness. I'm looking for a sincere um, effort to listen to what people are saying. You're, there's no way all people are going to line up with the same train of thought. But give them a sincere ear. Listen to uh, People like Ron who say, you know, this gym is um, unsafe, but you may not have to rebuild the whole entire thing. For me, this wasn't just a gym issue. I thought there were uh, parts of the plan that I didn't really see how they could serve an academic um, purpose. They would be nice to have if we were rolling around in money. And I don't think anybody is, whether it's an individual, a business, a town, a school district. I mean, nobody is. So I like the idea that we look at what is fringe stuff that could maybe be removed altogether or pared down. Look at what would benefit the kids academically, first and foremost. And being a sports fan, uh, 
arts fan, uh, all of those things, you know, and just see what could be done. Thank you.